this is a new series I, that uh, Sue and I kind of thought of. Um, it's going to be Meteorites After Dark. So this is basically me and some friends hanging out on a Friday night. And we'll talk about meteorites. We'll talk about science. We'll talk about all the stuff that I don't talk about on this show. There's very few people in this planet who've seen me overindulge. And one of them is Getty. <laughs> that was a good time. Yeah. I believe I believe you were starstruck with Steve Arnold and oh yeah that's what it was yeah yep yep no I uh it th things in Tucson are different money has no meaning yep. but you have to respect your blood alcohol content I, that's that rule does not go away that in gravity yeah <laughs> Roberto Vargas Roberto Vargas Roberto what's up y'all howdy sir how are you man pretty good how's it going very well happy birthday to your dad yeah thank you he turned 62 today some dude seriously man <laughs> what what do you do for what exactly do you do for a living because i know you've written a shit ton of books on on cyber one meteorite book <laughs> well so my background so i started in it like very first thing i did was it my first job ever was the school the high school i graduated from the board office hired me to be their first network administrator um, i wrote that book when i was in college um, so I got a call from my senator, and he was like, we're building this enclave of the Army Research Lab in, um, in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We want Kentucky people who, do, who know they have these skills to, to run it. Um, and so I started working for the Department of Defense doing that. It got me a clearance. It got me a pretty cool job. I got to see a lot of cool data and, like, defend, you know, basically watching the wires. I would like to live in meteorites 24-7 like Roberto. But unfortunately, we can't all chase our dreams and, and have the beard of, of, of a goddess or a god. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you guys seen uh, Stevie Wonder's new RV? No. That's okay. ne neither is he. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. I was, I was, I thought you were going to tell me. I thought we were going to be like the drone is actually still in the tree somewhere. No, no, yeah. no. no. It, it, it was up there for a few days though, because I, I, I wasn't going to climb a tree. I don't climb trees. So. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, why don't you? <laughs> I pay a buck to see you climb a tree. That's not what I do. <laughs> Love going to Tucson, even when when I don't have a whole bunch of money to buy meteorites, just because I get to see Topher and I get to see, you know, you guys and and the, the greater meteorite community. I fucking love Jules. Like I yeah. I had met Jules through through these through the knowledge of Olive, but like meeting her in person is so great. I fucking love Jules and Chris yeah. Monk and all the the core people that have been going up. That, you know. that was the best part of Meteorite Mansion is you know everybody kind of scatters and does their own thing during the day. And I am just like a squirrel on cocaine running around <laughs> seeing all the things that I can see. But then we all get back and the stars come out and the microscopes come out and everybody's yeah. like, look what I found. Check this yeah. thing out. Let's, let's cut it open or Let's not because this is really valuable and really cool and rare. Like it's, <laughs> it's it's just so much fun. And then you just you're just hanging out, having a good time with people yeah. who have the same interests as you, and it's great. Thousand pound rock, I guess. Yeah. So he he didn't. I th I think he cut a piece out and stuck it into the end cut. It's not yes, like that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you can probably lift that out and just have like a straight rectangular uh thing and then you can it just like fits in like a like a cube i mean yeah you yeah. lift that out i feel like herniating yourself yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah curious. seriously i'm curious how tight it's in there like is it actually fixed in there for like safety or anything or i wonder if it can lift out that's that right there is a mate look at that yeah wow like coming out of the mountain yeah that's pretty cool. the, the engineering that just the, the 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 perfection that went into this one uh, here's here's something that I couldn't definitely touch on a, on a normal Wednesday. Um, what about this? I've heard I I don't I know nothing, so I'm going to claim absolute ignorance. And whatever is said wasn't said by me. And my uh, orange infused wheat beer, Getty. Um, what about these? Uh, this is the this is the biggest piece of turpan I've ever owned. This is 88 grams of turpan. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And but it's not mine. <laughs> yeah. I own 44 grams of it, and uh John Humphreys owns 44 ugly grams of it. <laughs> oh. By the way, I just want to say, can you do me a favor? One of what? my favorite things that I love I love quoting you. One of my favorite things that you say all the time is ho ho ho. Oh ho ho ho. Hold on. 
Ho, ho, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's cool. That's a dinosaur. Is that that's a real fossil? That's a real fossil. It's a Sotacosaurus. I had it articulated myself. Um, but yep, that is a real wow. fossilized Sotacosaurus. And that's something I wanted since I was like in like first or second grade. Mm-hmm. That is a mummy. What? Like a human <laughs> mummy? No, this is a, a an offering. It's a hawk mummy that was offered uh, at the Temple of Horus in oh. Saqqara. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. That puts it, what, like 30, how what, 35, 4,500 years ago or something? 300, 300 BC. Jesus. Roughly. Stuff that I didn't even know you could collect. Yeah. Well, it, at one point, it was owned by... Uh, Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, she owned it at one point. Are you serious? Yeah. So her, so, so random. Her, her the blue. Well, it's like in terms of like the most random thing ever. It's like I have a mummified hawk that was once owned by Whoopi Goldberg. It's like almost like <laughs> ad lib. <That's> <laughs> it, it does sound like an ad lib. I'll give you that. Uh, I, I, so I wanted to make sure. I wanted to see if this was a composite or a full bird. It's a full bird. Wow, there's there's a full bird in there. She was able. Hey, to you know what? Like... I'm gonna give you a full bird too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty. That cool. is so cool. It's uh, it's the femur of a woolly rhino. Was it all? Was it owned by Dan Aykroyd at some point? <laughs> <laughs> Not owned by anyone famous. Not owned by anyone famous. There we go. Now we can see it better. Oh, that's amazing. Really Thanks. nice. I mean, so do night, so it's mostly um, olivine. Some really nice green crystals, some nice light uh, inclusions. And then you can see and that metal, the metal chunk in there. So this is an absolutely massive slice, uh, by, I mean, slice and cut of etched Dronino. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's wild. That's beautiful. Dronino is amazing. It's just one of those. It's so unique. It, let's see if you can identify oh, what this one is. It is another iron because I'm on an iron kick right now. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Is that uh, Odessa? It is Odessa. Exactly. Wow. And it's got inclusions that out the wazoo. Stunning. I love this little lightning bolt I inclusion. I know. Odessa had been I, on my radar for a little while, and I finally found the one that I was like, that's, wow. that's the one I want. It's the perfect example of Odessa. That's the only reason why I was able to guess it. It's not that I'm a genius or anything. That is a perfect – it's a beautiful example. Yep. The um, the lightning bolt reminds me of, like, Harry Potter's scar. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and um, this is my favorite book just because it's, like, what I collect. And if you look there and there – and then, oh. <laughs> hell yeah, that's it. Wow, that's cool, dude. That's your second one on the cover, isn't it? You have another one on that yeah, cover. Yeah, I've got uh, Paragold, uh, yeah. RK, yeah. RKM Paragold. Wow, hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, if this is what you want by more uh, access to Topher, well, you got it. If this is not what you want. Shut up. You still Too got bad. it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great week. And we'll talk to you next time on, uh, well, on the next, uh, I don't know if we're going to do this weekly, but on the next Meteorites After Dark. Take care.